So in the last video, we have talked about uh, two-dimensional array, and this will talk about will talk about jagged arrays. Now, what exactly jagged arrays are? So this is just to define jagged arrays, let me just change this value. So let's say uh, I have this array x in which I have four elements. I have array y which has two elements, and I have array z which has let's say three elements. Perfect. So now uh, we have these three arrays with three different sizes. Now if I define this thing in this P array, is it possible? Because when we have defined a two-dimensional array, it's an array of array, which means all the arrays should be of same type. But hold on, what happens if I change the value? So let's say if I change this value to 2 and if I change this value to 1, will it work? Uh, let's try. So if I try to run this now, and it's running, it's running, and it's working. You can see the size of this array is not compulsory to be fixed. Okay, we can have we can have three rows, and each row will have different number of columns, right? And this type of property is called as jagged array. But hold on, uh, is it that simple? Uh, since we are taking the static values, it, it is quite simple. But let's say if I create an array, let's say if I create an array with name k and we say new int and then these two arrays, the problem starts here. If I know the size of my array is with four rows and maybe three rows and four columns, the other example where, where you have Four row, three rows and four columns. So I was knowing I have to use three rows and four columns. Each row will have four elements. But in this example, we have three rows, but four rows are not fixed or four columns are not fixed. Then question arises: how to define that. Now to, just to define that, we don't know about the number of columns, right? Remove that. Will it work? Uh, no error, so it should. So let's try. Now how to assign values? So before assigning value, we have to define. Because see, in this we have, basically we have three rows. We have three arrays. So even if you define in this way, we have three rows. And we have to mention the size of each row. To do that, we have to say k of zero, which will represent the first row. It should be of size four, okay? And then, Oh, I forgot to mention new keyboard. And then here we have to say 1 equal to new int 2. And then we have to say k of 2 equal to new int of 3. Simple. So that's how you define a size of jagged arrays. So this type of array where you have this type of two dimensional array where you know the number of rows for sure, but you don't know the number of columns. So we have to use jagged arrays. So that's it. That is jagged arrays. So that's it from this video. So stay tuned for the further videos. Thank you so much for watching.